Hey, it's Hunter, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do virtual twilights for real estate photography in Photoshop. And so this is the image that we're working with today. It was actually taken on an overcast day. That is going to make the edit a lot better. Let's open this up in Photoshop and let me show you the process. Okay, so the first thing we need to start with is a sky replacement. So I'm gonna come up here to edit, do sky replace. And Photoshop usually does a pretty good job of detecting the sky. However, sometimes it fails and that's why you would wanna watch my sky replacement video. Um, I don't know if I have that one out yet, but when that's available, you'll definitely wanna watch that to know how to do a sky replacement if the Photoshop automatic function doesn't work. And I'm gonna be using one of the skies from my sky pack, which is actually available in the description below. Um, it's about 200 plus images of skies. Now all those skies not being real estate skies, some of them are storm clouds, some of them are overcast, but there are a good amount of blue skies and twilight and sunset skies. I have that right now for $89. So if you want to get that, it's in the description below. Just click the link. After checkout, you'll be provided with a link to the Dropbox download and uh, you can start using some high quality skies taken by yours truly. So I like using this photo here. It works pretty well for uh, virtual twilights. And I'm going to bring the brightness down just a little bit because we are going to be darkening the image here. So I want it to kind of match once we do that. And I think that looks good, we'll hit okay. And the next thing I'm gonna do is use my custom virtual twilight action, which is also available in the description below. I sell my Photoshop actions for $5. You know, it doesn't take long to make them, but it does take a lot of time to develop the settings. But let me show you how it works. So I'm gonna press play on the virtual twilight action and that's going to drop our exposure down. And it's also going to introduce this hue saturation layer, which is currently turned off. I'm thinking that we're gonna to want to lower the brightness down on the sky just a little bit more um, because it doesn't really match the house. So we can just drop it down a little bit more. That looks about right. The next thing we need to do is probably the most time consuming part of a virtual twilight and unfortunately there's nothing you can really do about that i don't think there's any other way to speed up this process we're going to need to manually select our windows i'm going to turn off the exposure right now on this image just so i can see the windows a little bit better and i'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool and i'm just going to select our windows when there's windows with a frame like this one i'll go ahead and just select the entire set of windows and then just deselect the frame that we don't have any like crooked windows if you didn't get them lined up perfectly same thing here and then i'm just going to do this for all the windows and then we'll move on to the next step here Okay, we have all of our windows selected. So now we need to apply our mask. So I'm gonna turn the exposure back on. And then with our hue saturation layer selected, we're going to hit the mask button. And we have all of our windows lit up. There's one thing we have to change first, and that is this section here where the tree is kind of sticking out over the window. So I'm gonna use my brush tool, make sure you switch to a black brush, and we're just gonna kind of feather this out a little bit. That's acceptable right there. And then the next thing we need to do is add a little glow around the windows. And then we also have this exterior light here. So what I'm gonna do is just add some light underneath the window, underneath the light fixture. And then I'm gonna go on the ground here and I'm just going to add some light on the ground underneath where the windows are. And then you can add some light. We didn't light up the door here because you don't see the windows really, but we can add some light in the doorway. We can also add like a little bit of glow on the wall right there. Add a little bit of glow here. Add some glow right there. And then we'll use a black brush just to kind of like smooth that out. And we'll do, we'll just add a little bit of glow down here as well. All right, and that looks pretty good. 
And there's one more thing we're going to do just to finish off this photo. And that's going to be darkening the grass because it's a little bit too bright for a nighttime shot. So we're going to use my custom grass greening action, which is also available down in the description. And to do this, I'm going to start off by selecting the object selection tool, or you can use the W key. And we're just going to click here on the grass and that's going to create a selection automatically. And then we're going to apply my grass greening layer. And unfortunately the tool's not perfect. So it does select stuff that's not the grass. So we're just going to mask out the landscaping there. And there we go. So we're gonna save that now. And back in Lightroom, I'm gonna make a few adjustments just to really polish the image. And the first thing is going to be boosting the whites a little bit, just to give a little bit more contrast to that image. And then I'm going to apply a small vignette. And now you have a finished virtual twilight that you can now deliver to your client. I hope this information was helpful for you and that you can now edit your own virtual twilights if you want to or need to. If you want to download my sky pack or my custom photoshop actions all of those are available down in the description below if you do decide to purchase one of those i just want to say that i truly appreciate it if you were to try to buy stock photos for sky replacements which i have trust me i have done it's about 30 dollars a photo or you can subscribe to stuff like adobe stock and then of course forget that you're subscribed to it and then pay you know 600 dollars in the course of a year or you know, one photo or whatever you needed at the time. Those are the photos that I use every time I do a sky replacement. I use them every single day. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the video. Like and subscribe, follow for more real estate photography tips. I'll see you in the next one.